Less than a week after the demise of DMK chief M. Karuna Nidhi, a power battle has broken out within his family. Now, Karuna Nidhi's second son, M. K. Aragiri, has flexed his muscles, challenging his brother Stalin's claim to the party's top post. Let's bring in Jude Sanath, who's joining us from Chennai with the latest on this tussle. Jude, a pleasure having you on the show. And clearly, Aragiri was removed from the DMK in 2014 itself. But how is his claim being seen within the DMK and in the political circles now? Well, first off, after the events of this morning, it's fair to say Alagiri may have stoked the flames of what could possibly be, at least he'd hope, will be a rebellion within the DMK. And I use the word stoked simply because there aren't many who are taking his threats, quote-unquote, seriously. And here's why. Like you rightly mentioned, Alagiri hasn't quite been part of the DMK since 2014. But before we proceed, let's quickly recap all that he said while visiting Karnanadi's gravesite today. First things first, Alagiri said that as far as Karnanadi's true loyalists are concerned, they are all on his side. He even then went on to admit that he wasn't a part of the DMK and would thus not be party to whatever decision the political party takes, but states that as far as his decision or his dissatisfaction with the affairs of the party are concerned will of course be known in a few days' time from, there, from, from today. But very interestingly, a few minutes after he made the declaration, he spoke to our sister network, CNN News 18, where he made a couple of very interesting points. First up, he said that all was not well within the rank and file of the DMK with regard to how MK Stalin has been running the party as working president uh, since, of course, Karnanadi became invalid. Secondly, he also mentioned as far as Chennai is concerned, he felt the DNK was slowly losing grasp of this power center that belonged to the party. But very interestingly, even as these allegations are being brought forth by Alagiri in the hope to stir about a rebellion, something very interesting to note is that not many within the DMK are taking him too seriously. Let's remember, the rank and file of the party are firmly behind MK Stalin, who has large, who has been seen as Karunanadi's heir apparent for the last decade, at least for now. So even as a crucial DMK council meet is all set to take place tomorrow, we'll have to wait and watch just where MK Alagiri intends to go with regard to these comments that he's made. But for now, the party is firmly behind MK Stalin. Back to you.